Is veganism an eating disorder? Uh, dietitians are detectives in the medical field. Where on that spectrum are you a disordered eater? It is normal to overeat sometimes, to undereat sometimes, to think about food a little bit more than usual sometimes. It was mentioned in my lecture that if you decide to go vegan for a day, or you're like, oh, I think I'm going to go vegan today, yeah, then that is considered disordered eating. This is because it is not a lifestyle choice. Use these clues to help you figure out if your eating is disordered. Do you rarely use your true hunger and satiety cues? Do you give an unreasonable amount of thought to food selection? Do you have any flexibility in your eating patterns? Do you ever let yourself leave some food behind on your plate? Or are you still growing up with that clean plate club swag? Do you find yourself frequently overeating or undereating? <laughs> Do you notice yourself like <laughs> emotionally eating a lot? <laughs> I want some ice cream. How do these obsessive behaviors start, you might ask? I'm gonna go on a diet. I'm gonna lose so much weight. Yeah, Adkins diet. Yeah, I'm only gonna eat so many protein foods so that I lose so much weight. Yeah, diet. That's my job. Diet for a month. Let's go. 98% of all dieters gain the weight back within five years. 98%. That's the reason why the word die isn't diet. First, the bad foods are completely off limits. The dieter restricts and does never ever eat bad foods. And then the dieter misses these bad foods. <laughs> Dieter binges and indulges on bad foods. <laughs> Dieter failed and feels really guilty and crappy. Oh. All of these feelings of awful guiltiness restarts the cycle, restricting the bad foods. The diet is the devil! <laughs> yeah, I've been through this cycle. It's not fun at all. It kind of seems as if you have more bad foods than omnivores <laughs> do. So you might think that veganism is in fact its own eating disorder because looking around you might think, ooh, I can't eat that or ooh, I can't eat that. Vegan for life! Veganism is a lifestyle choice, not a diet. It's called mindful or intuitive eating. Here's a few ways to help you eat more mindfully. Don't worry, you don't have to do all of them. Just try one or two, see how you feel. Giving yourself unconditional permission to eat anything you want whenever you want. Take the stress out of eating. What does the food sound like as you eat it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What flavors are you experiencing? Try to notice any feelings you might have. Do not judge those feelings. Just, just notice. So tell yourself instead of saying, I can't eat that, say, I can eat that. I just don't want to. <laughs> Next time you eat, take away the distractions really slowing down your pace of eating. Honor the food's origin. Where did it come from? How did it get to your plate? Take away that guilty feeling afterwards or during eating. Being aware of the effects of mindless eating. Trusting your body. Sit in a comfortable place and in a comfortable position. Give yourself credit for all that you are and all that you do. I can't stress that enough. Eating the most beautiful, sustainable, colorful, antioxidant-rich, nutrient-dense foods for the rest of your life sounds pretty deliciously amazing and fun, like a fun hobby to me. Stay true to yourself and what you believe in. From my classroom to your kitchen, live big and carb up.